Hey guys, Infidel1258 here. Today I want to share with you my initial reactions to the controversial DAO proposal to re yet again revise how our rewards are distributed in Splinterlands. This conversation takes place with my members only in one of my Thursday night live events with Aga Prime special guest. His links are going to be in the description. Make sure you check them out. This is a controversial topic and I know a lot of people feel quite, quite salty about this new one. So you probably are going to want to stick around and stay tuned for this one. And guys, thank you so much for your time and attention. I hope you have an amazing day. God bless. So a couple of guys were, were commenting on the on the proposal, the DAO proposal or the... Uh, is it called a DAO proposal? It's anyways, the more recent proposal around... Um, the reward changes and needing to have the cards at the whatever level guys can you drop the link for the the this the we aga and i tried to talk about it before we got going here neither of us has read the thing we don't really know what's going on but i mean for the sake of you know entertaining the conversation here it's just from us and the five or six guys hanging out and by the way paul hey buddy thanks for coming in to hang out um maybe we take a couple minutes and try to share some thoughts I know very little though. I know what I know is I watched half of Bulldog's video and it sounds like you now need to have, and, and again, guys drop the link in the, in the chat and I'll, I'll open it up. Uh, but, um, I didn't see it over here. I went to splinter shards. I went to proposals and then it's not active, I guess. Right. So I'm assuming it's coming up soon. But then it's not even an upcoming. So maybe there's a high post or something. So yeah, send me a link if you see it. Um, and while you're doing that, I'll just tell you what little I do know. It sounds like we, we be, because of we the fact we created Modern and Wild, and Modern League has totally different um, um, collection power requirements, We there's a new concern from the development team that collection power isn't what it used to be in terms of restricting low-level investment with high level rewards and with that in mind they want to create this new mechanism where the rank battle gives you more or less focus points per battle per win rather um, depending on how many appropriately leveled monster you you use i think that's all true i don't i think i'm understanding the the, the situation correctly and i also heard from bulldog that i guess if you're playing in gold I think you'd be allowed to to have your your monsters between the silver level and the max gold level meaning you don't really need to have gold monsters to fight in gold you you actually need like the bare bones of it um which isn't i don't know it strikes me as reasonable um but i really want to think that through a bit before i get some more i guess deep dive on that um I'd love to see from the chat and Aga, if, if any of what I just said, drog something, if you got an opinion, you want to dive in there, I'm happy to give you space to, to think it through. Um, I know you didn't come to it with, you know, notes or whatever. So if you don't have anything, that's cool too. And then I want to see the chat too. Like if you guys have, you know, are you for that? Are you against that? And if you're against it, I'd love to understand why. Cause I'm right now I'm on the fence with a sense with, with a general leaning toward it sounds reasonable. And so, yeah, while well, they're thinking things up there, Aga, do you have any comment on that? Do you feel like that makes sense? Is it unreasonable? Is there? Do you have any feelings on that yet? So, my only concern would be how how like sharp of the nerf that is, because I do think that I do kind of I don't want to eliminate the the gamer who can you know win in gold with a silver deck yeah you know i think that still takes a level of skill mm -hmm. so i wouldn't want to nerf that out so much but i do think that i think if one is a point of the game as well to level up the cards yeah and you know it shrinks the supply which is increases the value it's kind of incentive to do that yeah yeah, that's a that's a strong point, right? Like we don't want to be we want to be careful and cognizant about the fact that we could potentially go too far with with essentially nerfing the potential for rewards at a lower level with a lower level of, of it, not necessarily a lower level with we could go too far with nerfing those who have put a lower level of investment into the game even if potentially 
talent allows them to climb to a higher level. And we, on one hand, we, we've said publicly the Splinterlands team and specifically um, Weirdbeard has kind of said repeatedly, we're trying to make heroes. We're trying to, we're trying to, you know, create storylines where you know, pe people who have less climb to really crazy high heights and really prove themselves in a big way publicly and then there's like a stardom factor that the game can can hold up and be excited about and if we're if that's if that's the one goal i'm not certain that this leans into that goal it feels conflicting a bit if you know maybe yeah i agree i agree so that's why i would say uh, I would have to look at it to see what kind of percentages we're yeah. talking about. Same. But like, that's my immediate concern is, is that, you know, we want to keep that option out there because I think at the end of the day, this is a game we're having tournaments, you know, we, sh we should allow for, you know, the skill to be, to have a path to, you know, show their stuff. I think I, one, two things come to mind. First of all, I see gathering the magic dropped a comment and he says, um, you need max level cards for the league below your current league, which is great. Um, that's actually better than I thought. I thought you had to have it like within the gold range. That's actually, I mean, oh. like you, if you're playing in gold, you need silver cards. I think that's pretty reasonable, but, um, I had another thought and, you know, I agree with everything we just said. We both kind of, we, we both just said that we want to be careful about going too far with the nerfs to the lower level and but one thing that happens and we need to be aware of is that bots not arc mage and not um, splinter mage, but other bots people who can code these things for themselves their bot mm -hmm. plays every you know minute every two minutes they don't need to uh splinter mate has like a 10 minute minimum or minimum weight arc mage is a, a 15 minute minimum weight but you don't need to have a minimum weight. You you can just have run a script that, that has your game literally queue up every two minutes. And why does that matter? It matters because you can put together win streaks in in even just random win streaks, like based on lack. You don't need like a ton of extra cards, a ton of special cards, a ton of talent. You just literally brute force your way up because win streaks um, add more value from a from a rank point calculation than the like a 50 50 loss so if you win one lose one win one lose one and then win five in a row just by luck's sake that five in a row is gonna is gonna do bigger things for you than you know losing the next two um potentially and and you can brute force it like you just turn the thing on and let it go and um so I, I guess I would be worried about that too. And I don't know how to properly measure that. I, I don't have any data to hold up and say, uh, you know, look at these 20 games and, and I, I can prove this to you. But I just, that what I just said is a feeling I have about how we climb in this. And I think win streaks are super pivotal. And I think there's a reason why some bots do, you know, they rent cards for a day and they play, they literally go from hundred to zero. And then they, and so I just feel there's, there's so many people trying to gimmick the system and I think they're trying to do what they can to, I guess, shut some of those doors. And I wonder, that's a that's a factor because there are people with less, it's not really people, it's, you know, account holders with running bots that have minimum investment and they're just seeking to extract. And I don't know, I'm not sure, this is the ongoing conversation of Splinterlands. How do we minimize their benefit while allowing human players to, to still have an opportunity. I don't know, man. Um, I think uh, Necro in the chat has a pretty good point. Okay. Uh, let's see here. I'm voting down this proposal. The theory is that it will stop the bots from playing one BCX cards and therefore leave more rewards for real players. However, it raises the bar for new players. Yeah. Yeah, it does raise the bar for new players. Also, from a strategy point of view, there are some cards that you don't want to level up. That's something I thought about too. Yeah, that's a good point. And I, I almost forgot to mention it here, but I did think about it when I was listening to it because that happens to me a lot, not just chicken. Like it happens to be a lot. There are some monsters you just don't care to level up. Um, in fact, today I recorded a video how powerful the flame, no, the exploding dwarf is. It's a fire 
card. It's super powerful. I did like a, mm -hmm. I did like a three game win streak with that thing. Um, and, and, uh, you don't necessarily need this thing. If you're playing a diamond or champion, you don't need it at level 10. Um, you level nine is, is all of the main abilities. Now I guess level nine would still qualify for like permissible within these new rule sets. So chicken is a really good example, but what about also the, all of the fiends, the fiends are another good example. Cause I would say if you've got the fiend, any one of the fiends, uh, you know, you can be very satisfied with just one to like fill a niche yeah. to like satisfy that one more meat shield. And I would argue there's no point whatsoever to have a level two or a level three, um, except for this stipulation of how you need to have the appropriately leveled monsters. So I, I hear you, Necro. I think I agree with your two points. Um, I still don't really know. I, I need to see the wording. Like you said, Aga, I want to see how much penalty it is. I want to better understand the math. But I don't really think if the target is, maybe this is where I would land on the conversation. If the target is to reduce the sort of exploits at lower level from people who don't invest much, specifically bot owners, then I think the issue, because that's that's the issue. It's not like it's not John Doe who has one account who's playing at silver because with bronze cards. Nobody cares about him. They really care about the bot armies that are still finding ways to extract significant value. And they, on the one hand, their, their dream for decentralization prevents them from say like squashing, like being authoritarian and kicking out certain accounts because they're perceived to be bots. They refuse to do that. They'll never do that. There's no point in us asking them to do it. They won't. Um, but, but this is clearly an attempt to curtail those accounts and so if that's the hope it seems to me that there are better ways that could i can think of two ideas off the top of my head that would be better at doing what this seems to be trying to do one i saw this gank suggested this in the in the mav chat and he said we need to do away with the last five rank battles probably all together but when you see um the five data from a matchup and you bots are able to figure things out like you can determine who's you know there's only a hundred accounts even in champion you know you can figure these things out with this with this series of um, battles and these monsters and this mana cap and this all of this stuff can be can allow prediction of who your opponent is um and that can that's a problem and so either these need to be he suggested that these be um shuffled that's one alternative or they'd be done away with altogether um and i think shuffled makes more sense because then there's still a talent element of you being able to look at this and say you know encounter your opponent um so that was one of two ideas that i've heard and then the other is you know they keep i don't think they'll ever do this second idea but one way to kill what bots are doing, the exploits that they have access to that we don't, is to stop them from playing 600 matches a day. Because they can, like I said a minute ago, they can do that. They don't need to, you and I can't do that. Even if you wanted to play every two minutes, um, you would need, you just, um, even if you wanted to, you're going to get tired, you got to go to sleep. You just can't do what they can do. And so, what if... We just did away with your ability to play that many games in a single match. What if we just said, no, you, every day you can only play 100 matches, 80 matches, 90 matches. I don't know, like a large number. I've heard people say 200. Um, that's still a huge amount of play. And I know that the developers would say, no, we don't want to do that because we, we want people to be here as long as possible. But, but look, like, do we care about squashing the bot armies because that actually would do it like one of the ways that they extract value is by you know these thoughtful um processes of win trading with one another by analyzing 
you know, who am I facing off against and then throwing in certain conditions or by playing so many times using brute force to just climb their rank with lesser cards. And so I feel like we're just skirting the issue. But the real answer is if you just made every account play a, a human amount of matches per day. So I don't know if those are maybe they have their own problems and maybe you guys in the chat have some ideas or Aga, um, if you feel like I'm off base there. But I, I think I just feel they're trying to target, like Necro said, they're trying to uh, stop the bots from playing 1BCX cards um, to leave more rewards for real players. But that that goal isn't being optimally reached through this through this, you know, initiative, in my opinion. No, I would uh, I would agree with you. Um, I would definitely agree with you to that point. I feel like they're in trying to to get the keep the bots out. They're kind of raising the floor. Yeah, it's just not going to get rid of the bot problem at all. Mm -hmm. um, but um, you were speaking to the point of like putting a max amount of battles a day. Mm -hmm. Not again you know kind of keep in mind for that for that skill and i think commitment person yeah but i'd say i think if you just really just devoted your whole day you could probably at most pay 250 matches yeah that's not watching the battles just inputting screen uh, you could probably play that many batches so if we limit the bots to the same 250 matches yeah yeah i think so we just have those you know refill at a at a regulated pace over time yeah yeah maybe like a maybe a 24-hour window just like your ec instead of yeah. an ec instead of an ecr you just get you know it's like a fuel tank you, you're allowed 250 battles within a 24-hour period that's right. 10 that's 10 battles and is it is it like 12 battles like 11 battles an hour or something like that um and i man that's a lot of battles dude like if it, it it takes me yeah i mean i think you'd be playing hardcore for eight hours to really crank that out um that's a full day of work man and uh i just don't believe that humans are capable of doing that on a regular basis and so i think even 250 is like is is probably while well, it's probably a good number um, it's not even like an unreasonable number at all. Like if, if the idea is, well, we want people to be on our website as long as possible. Sure. Dude, eight hours a day is pretty long. So I think that's pretty reasonable. So I don't know. I mean, I, I feel like they've, I feel like the development team, I, I'm going to post this. I'm going to clip what we've got so far. These are just my initial thoughts. I don't, I might look at it more and I see gathering or somebody here. Uh, Paul Taylor was saying that it's in the SPL discord. I really need to look at that wording closely and i don't want to do that now that'd be a pretty boring stream i'd just be reading and and then <laughs> trying to do math but um paul thanks for sharing that i will go look at it this will just be my initial thoughts on this because it's not even out yet but i guess i'm leaning towards a no with with a with a heart for like finding a better solution not that it's a not that i don't want these sorts of solutions to come to to minimize i do want them to come because i do think it would help to minimize the bot victories and extraction but i don't think that would be the optimal targeting of this plan and from what i can see so far so um i, I would completely agree yeah i would say i like the i i like the idea i just don't feel like this is the correct application mm -hmm. yeah 